everyone, welcome to my channel. I've got a lovely kit to show you today from Mrs. Cog's Crafts. And this one's really pretty. I had to show you this and I'm definitely going to make a journal. Maybe we might do it together so we can follow along. I at least want to do the cover on film so you can see how I did that. But to show you this gorgeous little kit, this one is the Daisy Journal and so it's based around daisies of course and it has the prettiest little girls. Okay, so we have this sweet little girl who's obviously in a field of daisies picking the little petals off the daisies. Isn't she beautiful? And this gorgeous little daisy here. Little golden hearted daisy told the sun that she felt lazy. Said the earth was quite too wet. She thought she wouldn't open yet. And over here we've got some lovely ladies. Beautiful. And this sweet little girl with all the ringlets. Isn't she just divine with her bunch of daisies? You couldn't not love this. It's a beautiful kit. It's going to make a really pretty journal. Really pretty. Aren't they sweet? It's nice to think how one can be recklessly lost in a daisy. That's lovely. We've got the man with the basket full of daisies on his head. And the lovely little lady holding up the daisies. Really lovely. It's a beautiful kit. This one. It's going to make a lovely journal. Daisies smell less, yet most quaint and sweet time true. Primrose. Firstborn child of Ver. Mary Springtime's Harbinger. Francis Beaumont. Beautiful. Fresh as a daisy. She's holding the little bird. Isn't that sweet? This is just the sweetest little kit that I have ever seen. I've just trimmed off the edges so this is pretty much how it prints out but I have just cut the edges with the decal cutter. Isn't that lovely? The colours in this are just so pretty. The daisy by the shadow that it casts protects the lingering dewdrop from the sun. William Wordsworth. That is beautiful. And a field of daisies. Gorgeous. And another one with the smaller daisies. And this one here with the little sweet little girls and the daisies. Oh, they're so pretty. And these would make nice covers for your journal as well, the pictures. Another beautiful painting of daisies, I think. A field of daisies, really pretty. And then to top it off we have some lovely tags. So we've got six beautiful daisy tags there to use in your journal. So we'll be making that up and see what it turns out like. At the moment Mrs. Cog has 30% off for the month of April and that is off all of her kits and also it's off her classes so she has some really good journaling classes that you can take and there's 30% off those two at the moment so if you wander over to Mrs. Cog's Crafts I'll put the links below so that you can find them easily and you'll be able to see that and the journal cover that I'd like to make for this is very similar to the one that I made for Mrs. Cog's journal, bear journal, and I made that with a supermarket bag. So I'll come on and show you how I actually did that. We'll make the cover together, I think, for this journal. So this will be a pretty little daisy journal. So I will see you again shortly when I have worked out what I'm going to do for the cover. Hello, I'm back just to show you how I made my cover out of a paper bag for my last journal and I'm going to show you with the daisy kit which is Mrs. Cog's lovely 
journal kit she has just created it's just divine and I showed you last time the kit I've cut it down into the size that I want for my paper bag journal and I've just deckled the edges and trimmed the top so it's all neat and I've added in just a few pages of coffee dyed paper I've made two signatures because I don't really want this to be a very big book and you know how carried away I get with my books they end up huge so this little one I've added in just a few of the country pages from a diary that I had I just copied it out onto the white normal copy paper and I will probably do some stenciling or something on those pages so I haven't bothered to back pages I've just printed them out singly as they are so it just gives you an idea of how easy it is to put the kits together they pretty much uh, stand alone they can work on their own just as they are and you don't really have to go to a lot of trouble to create a journal with these and there are the sweet little tags that I cut out to go along with it so I'll just show you how I cut the bag down to start with. I just use a normal shopping bag like this as you get from the supermarket or a food store. So it's nothing special and it folds in half to be about the right size for a journal but it's a bit tall. So I cut it down to this size so this will be size of my journal cover when it's made so to do that first of all I take the handles off so I just trim these handles off here which is fairly easy you just snip them snip them at the base there because you don't need those although you can if you like to have that style of journal you can add them back in later and if you want to see how to do that a very good video is from the Austrian lady at 49 Dragonflies she has a beautiful video on how to actually make a journal with a paper bag and take the handles off and put them back in later on but I didn't do that with mine this is the one that I made which I showed you before and you can either leave the inside piece in like this which I've done here because I wanted it to be a pocket so it does make a nice pocket in there and it's quite sturdy and strong if you don't want the extra bulk because it is a little thick and bulky it will take I mean you can cut that out and she shows you in that video how to do that but I left mine in for that one because I wanted the pocket so this is what it looks like when it's cut down so you've taken that piece off the bottom there you just chop that clean off so you don't need that piece now this would have been the bit that you fold I'll turn it around this way so you can see so this would have been here right so if you want to have that as the pocket like the other one this bit here you can leave that in and have that as your pocket if you don't you just simply cut it out it's not hard to do you just take that piece away and get rid of it and then you glue that back down so you've got rid of your handles you don't need those so you let what you're left with is just this piece of paper and it's quite sturdy and you just glue around your edges unless you want to leave any open now I'm sewing around to all my edges like I did with this one so if you can see if I open that out you can probably see better that I stitched around the top and bottom with this one so I'm going to do the same on the next one so this is the fabric that I've decided to put on it just for some reason reminded me of daisy fields I guess it's the pretty whites and yellows and I thought that softness went very well with the kit as you can see it blends I mean she would look gorgeous on the cover in fact I might even 
do another one and put her on the cover because the colours just look so lovely. So that's what I've decided to do for the cover. So I'm just going to quickly glue that down and stitch all around the edges and I'll come back and show you what it looks like when I've finished. And what I also do then is once you've got your little edges glued over and I only glue them lightly I don't put a lot of glue on because I'm sewing around this so it's going to be strong enough it doesn't need a lot of glue and I cut my fabric with the pinking shears which are these so that it doesn't fray around the edges and I just cut it so that it is visible top and bottom of your paper bag so from the front you can't see your paper bag it just hangs over a smidgen about probably an eighth of an inch top and bottom just so that you can't see your paper bag behind it so you'll glue that down then you will glue your pieces over each end like that the paper will go over the top on the inside so I'll find some pretty paper and I'll glue that down too and I'll show you that in a minute and then I think we're ready to go I'll sew around it then with my zigzag stitch I'll just do a zigzag all the way around because I don't want any open sides if you wanted one of your pockets open you just cut your fabric shorter and leave your opening whichever ever side that you choose to have it so I will go and do that and I'll be back in just a moment. So I found a lovely piece of paper in a nice soft lemon and green colour which is a William Morris design page and I thought that went very well with the colours that we have here. As you can see it picks up the yellows and, and the beautiful floral pattern. So I thought we'd put that one down and I've just glued the fabric down on the cover and I use a combination of art glitter glue and just the glue stick. Now if I'm not going to sew it I don't use the glue stick because I don't think it's strong enough although some people have found some that are strong enough to hold fabric but I really just use this to hold it in place while I'm sewing and I let it dry a bit so that it doesn't make the needle sticky so I've just stuck that on enough that it grips nicely to the bag and won't come unstuck now this is the same with this one I'm sewing around the edges so it doesn't really need a lot just a little bit of so glue stick through the middle to hold it in place you don't need a lot it's just going to tack it tack it down and if you want it firm around the edges like if I wasn't going to be sewing around this I probably would use more of a stronger glue like the art glitter glue or a more fabric glue and I just really go around the edges very carefully to make sure that it held down and didn't sort of flip up anywhere so I go right round all my edges and I'd probably put you know just a little bit through there as well just to make sure it doesn't your paper doesn't flip up but I'm not um, worrying too much about this one because I'm sewing it as I said so you just measure your paper so that it fits nicely over the area that you want to cover. Remembering you can trim your edges with ribbon or lace or cut around it again if you want to trim off a little bit. So I'm quite happy with that. That seems to reach the edges quite well. It's mostly these ones that you worry about that it's nice and neat down your side pieces and it fits quite well both sides. The top you don't worry, you can trim that back a little bit with your pinking shears if you want to later on. So there we have pretty much our paper bag journal cover ready to go. 
so that's quite a nice size journal cover it will fit very nicely our two signatures in here over there you've got plenty of room to work with so you've got enough height that if you need to shorten it you can but you've also got the room to add some taller things if you want to and that just fits very nicely inside of there so that will work quite well now remember if your pages as they build up they might push out a little bit so you might want to trim your edges down so there we have a beautiful start to that lovely journal kit and I think if you like the daisies see just how easy it is how quick and easy to get a journal together just from one kit and you don't really need much else I mean you've got your little tags here that you can add in as you go which are all very cute and beautiful you know you've you can have one or two signatures if you want you've got enough pages there to to make a couple if you want to spread them out a little bit with some just coffee coffee dyed pages and you're ready to go so that kit is 30 percent off at the moment I think I mentioned before that Mrs. Cogs Crafts is having a 30% off everything sale until the end of April. So it's a really good chance to go and pick that up if you're interested in it. She also has 30% off her classes. don't know if you've noticed but there's a lot of ladies that have done Mrs. Cogs classes and created those beautiful journals that she makes with all the petticoats and the lovely drippings and and the patchwork and it's just stunning her work is absolutely beautiful so if you'd like to have a go at making one like she does her classes are also 30% off and down here in in the southern hemisphere we're coming into winter so it's a really great project to take on for winter if you'd like to while you're hibernating from the cold weather do a nice project that's a good opportunity to do it so thank you for watching today and I hope that's given you a start to your journal. I might come back and show you a little bit more as I've um, completed a little bit and I'll definitely show you when it's all put together so that you can see just how easy it is to create a little journal from one of these kits without too much fuss at all and you don't need to have too much around. I mean that paper there is just wrapping paper used just a supermarket bag to make the cover and the fabric that I used on the outside is just fabric sample so it's it's not a lot that you have to pull together to actually make something beautiful you can do it really easily with just what you have around you so okay I'll see you next time and thanks a lot for watching bye for now